Okay, moving on to the next team in the Big Ten that we will be going over. This is going to be the team that I'm predicting to finish in ninth place in the Big Ten. That would be Matt Painter and his Purdue Boilermakers. And kind of in a similar way to Michigan, just because you see the number nine next to Purdue's name, I just hope all Boiler, Boiler fans know it's not because I don't like your team. I think Purdue, talent-wise, is right on the fringe of an NCAA tournament team. And to be honest, when you have a coach that's as good as Matt Painter, odds are Purdue is going to make the NCAA tournament. It's just the last year. There were some signs with this Purdue team that were a little concerning. But I will say this straight off the bat. I think the way that this year's Purdue roster is built is significantly better than the way last year's was, and I really think it fits together nicely. They bring back a nice core of guys, and it starts off with Travion Williams, the 6'9 junior at center, who averaged 11.5 points per game, about 8 rebounds per game last year, and I do think this season he's going to be a guy that's going to be better with a more clear role because the other big man that were Purdue had, Matt Harms, he actually ended up transferring to BYU, and even though Matt Harms was a really good player who played a lot of minutes and a lot of basketball throughout his Purdue Boilermaker career, I do think ultimately in the long run, it could help a guy like Williams just to know that he has a bigger, better, and much more clear role. They also bring back Sasha Stefanovic. He's a guy I really like. The redshirt junior last year averaged 9.1 points per game, 2.4 rebounds per game, and about one and a half assists per game. I really liked what he was able to do last year. His ability to shoot the ball was really impressive, and I think this season he's going to be one of the more consistent shot makers for this Purdue Boilermaker team. They also bring back Eric Hunter, who was actually really good last year. The 6'4 junior, he averaged 10.5 points per game, 3 rebounds per game, and about 2.6 assists per game. And there are a couple of guys, though, that I think are really going to determine just exactly how good this Purdue team is. One of them is Aaron Wheeler, who, if you remember, during his freshman year, he played on that same team with Carson Edwards and Ryan Klein and Grady Eifert, and that was another one of the Purdue Boilermaker teams under Matt Painter that I think was really able to succeed just based on guys really being able to fit into their role. And that's why that Purdue team was just so fun to watch. And I remember after that season when Matt Painter really built the team around Carson Edwards and it just fit together so well. Everyone was able to have a role and they were just one win away from somehow, some way making the final four against uh, Virginia they lost, and that was one of the greatest college basketball games I've ever watched. Virginia and Purdue, the 2018 NCAA Tournament Elite Eight. That was just a phenomenal game. But anyways, Matt Painter, I remember after that season just telling myself, okay, Matt Painter is now one of those coaches where as long as he just has a little bit of talent and a little bit of hope, he's going to be able to get the job done under any circumstance. And I feel like this season, with how good the Big Ten is, Ninth is a good spot for Purdue just because I don't love their depth. There are a lot of people in college basketball that are very high on this kid, Jaden Ivey, 6'4 freshman. I think he could be a guy that can make an impact for Purdue. And then also Ethan Morton, another freshman at 6'6. He's more of a combo wing. I think both of those guys right away are going to be asked to contribute off the bench for this Purdue Boilermaker squad. And I'm going to be curious to see if they are really up for it. They also bring back Isaiah Thompson. If you remember, he's the brother of PJ Thompson, the former Purdue point guard, the 6'1 sophomore. He averaged 5.6 points per game last year, one rebound and about one assist per game uh, last year. And I think this season he's going to be another guy that will be in for a bigger role now that the depth is a little bit shaved off and everyone's role is a little bit more clear. Going back to Aaron Wheeler, though, I feel like if you were going to buy stock in a college basketball player right now, Aaron Wheeler would be one of them because I'll be honest, Aaron Wheeler as a freshman was really good. And he was a guy that going into last season, a lot of people throughout college basketball had breaking out and being one of the more important players on the Purdue Boilermakers. And during his freshman year, he was solid. He averaged, um, about 4.7 points per game, but he also shot 36% from three, and he really didn't have that much of a significant role because he was only a freshman, and he was playing with guys like Carson Edwards and Ryan Klein, guys who were older than him and just were more experienced in their role, and I do feel like this season, Aaron Wheeler, after really struggling last season, taking a break because of the pandemic, maybe he could really succeed playing around some good spacers and good shooters like Stefanovic and um, Eric Hunter. So, 
with that being said, I have Purdue coming in ninth. I love Matt Painter. I think he's one of the 10 best coaches in college basketball. And I think it's interesting to see what exactly this Purdue team is going to look like also, considering the fact that two of their more impactful players actually decided to leave in Matt Harms, who transferred to BYU, and also Nojel Eastern, who was going to go to Michigan. It didn't end up working out. But the thing is, Matt Painter wasn't too happy about both of those guys leaving. And I think with that being said, maybe now the rest of the team could really use that as motivation and really show them that they could succeed this season. Trevion Williams last year even beat out Harms for the center spot. So that's probably why the big man is maybe in Utah in BYU now. And I feel like the paint should be the offensive focal point for this Purdue squad. When Trevion Williams was on the court last year, uh, he was the Purdue offense was really good and I feel like it was just significantly better than with him on the floor than with Harms on the floor and I feel like Matt Harms is good for a certain role I think he was phenomenal as that rebounding energy big when you had a guy like Carson Edwards who could go to the cup and just create shots at any time and also when you had a guy like Ryan Klein who could just really shoot the ball and was a really impactful and effective shooter Grady Eifert had his role built in as well so I think ultimately that may be why Matt Harms role last year was different and he just didn't feel like he fit as good but now I think with Travion Williams his role is a little bit more clear and Purdue has a clear backup in Emmanuel Duwana I think he could be another guy that could have a good impact as a backup big man um going back to the guards though Isaiah Thompson and Stefanovic are right now looking like to be the starting backcourt alongside Eric Hunter. Both players are pretty good shooters, and I really like Stefanovic, his ability to move off the ball and shoot from a spot. I think that really makes him dangerous. He ranked in the 82nd percentile nationally in scoring off screens, and to be honest, I would have thought that number would be higher. I remember Purdue had a home game last year against Virginia in the ACC Big Ten uh, challenge, and Stefanovic just went off. He hit three after three after three after three after three, and it was just super impressive to watch. And I think when you combine that with guys like Brandon Newman, guys like Jade and Ivy, maybe this Purdue team could use that depth. They, maybe they could redevelop that depth and develop that freshman. I wouldn't blow it past Matt Painter. He's one of the more underrated coaches in all of college basketball. I just think playing in this Big Ten, it is such a hard league, and Purdue is going to be one of those teams where last season was concerning but I do think the more I look at them the role for this team and the path for this team to get to an NCAA uh, tournament appearance may not be that tough just because I really like the way their team fits together plus the coach they have a lot of successful elements of a winning team